George here. Hi again. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to perform open suctioning on your patient with the artificial airway with sterile technique. So I've already got my sterile field set up. I've already had my suction uh, tubing hooked up to my suction catheter. So that's ready to go. And remember, before you start using a suction catheter on a patient, make sure you've got the correct size of suction catheter for the correct size or for the, for the size of artificial airway that is inserted in your, your patient. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got our suction level set. Now, with the sterile technique demonstration that I'm doing for this open suctioning procedure, you're gonna find a lot of variations of how to do this, okay? Now, the way we do it here, or the way you can do it, and again, this is just one way of doing it, there's many other ways of doing it, is if we're doing it with single person technique, typically, the one person that is suctioning out the patient's airway is going to have one hand remain sterile, the other hand remain clean. So it's very important that once you decide or distinguish which hand is going to be the clean one and which is going to be the sterile one, only grab sterile things with the sterile hand, only grab clean things with the clean hand, and don't bring your hands together once you've made that decision and start touching things. Try to maintain, maintain sterility and don't break your sterile field. So, for me, I'm right hand dominant, so I'm gonna keep my right hand as my sterile hand. So it means I can only do or touch the sterile catheter or the sterile field with my sterile hand. Everything else I can touch with my clean hand. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my suction hand on and make sure that it's still set up to my appropriate level of 120 for the saddle patient. So now I'm taking my hand, placing it on the suction cap, the suction regulator, turning it on and including the tubing to see that I've got the correct pressure and I still do, it's minus 120 millimeters of mercury. Now what I need to do is get the suction catheter out of its protective sheath. So to do that, the easiest thing is, grab the suction catheter and the tubing together, like so by the thumb control port, take the suction catheter as packaging, push the, put it underneath your arm, pull it out like so, grab the, packet, the catheter with your sterile hand, because this is sterile, this is clean, and now once you've done that, simply lubricate the end with this normal saline and test out your suction, make sure it's working, and it is. Now I can suction out my patient. So to suction out my patient properly, I usually loop my catheter like so. I'll then go over here and disconnect the patient from the endotracheal tube. So the ventilator would either be running or put into standby or what have you uh, while you're doing this. Make sure your vital signs on your patient are stable. Make sure, of course, and you've already done this, you've assessed your patient, so you know they need to be suctioned. Tell the patient you're gonna suction out their airway, as well as make sure the FiO2 on the ventilator is set to 100% if they need that boost of oxygen because they're desaturating, okay? So again, you lubricate, suck some secretions out. Make sure nothing from your, your tubing, your suction tubing, touches your sterile field loop the catheter like so, so it's not hanging there. Go up to your patient, tell the patient you're gonna suction them out. Disconnect them from the ventilator with one hand, the alarm silence should be on, and you disconnect them. Don't apply suction, but feed the catheter down the suction, down the uh, endotracheal tube to hit that resistance, pull back a centimeter, and then pull back on your suction tubing like so. You can rotate it if you want as well. Once you've done that, you've got all the secretions out. Loop your tubing so you don't wreck your sterility. Grab the suction, the uh, ventilator circuit, place the appropriate connector back on the endotracheal tube. Go back over here, clean out your suction cap of your suction tubing. Loop it again. Are you done? No, you need to assess your patient to ensure that they're clean. So to do that, come over here like so. You notice I didn't put my back to the sterile field. Tell the patient you're going to listen to their chest. Grab your stethoscope, and I just simply go and pull my stethoscope's ear pieces apart with one hand in my ears, and then I'll go and listen to the patient's chest. And if it looks like the patient needs to be suctioned again, what I'm going to do is clean out the catheter one more time, make sure the vital signs are stabilized. I'll check the FiO2 on the ventilator, make sure it is uh, back to 100% if I need it, make sure my patient has recovered. <coughs> And again, check the monitor, make sure there's nothing uh, abnormal there. Tell the patient I'm going to suction them out. And again, you notice how I'm not wrecking my, the sterility of my sterile hand and my catheter. 
I'm going to take the tubing connection off the endotracheal tube. I'm going to line the catheter up at the center of the endotracheal tube, advance the catheter to the patient's airway, feel that resistance, pull back a centimeter, apply suction, rotate the catheter slightly as I withdraw the catheter from the endotracheal tube, loop the tubing, reach over, grab the ventilator connection, and the patient receives mechanical ventilation. Clean out my suction catheter. Now I'll go and listen to my patient's chest again. You can do it from this side if you want as well. Just make sure it's not you know, clumsy for yourself, etc. If they're, if they're clean now, like if their lungs are clean now and I don't need to tracheal suction them some more, I don't need to use this catheter anymore. Because like I said in the previous video, if you're going to do pharyngeal suctioning after you've done tracheal, try to switch to, or you should switch to a new catheter. So then what do you do with this catheter? Well, simply disconnect it from your suction tubing, wrap it around your hand, doesn't matter which hand you use, but wrap it around your hand, like so, so you've got it in your hand, then grab your cuff here of your, your um, glove, pull it back, so now the catheter goes into the glove, like so, and then repeat the process with your other glove. Pull this glove into the other one. And in doing so, all that stuff is now stuck inside your gloves. And you can touch this part with your fingers because this is what was against your skin anyways. So you've got everything safely wrapped in here. Now you can dispose of this in the appropriate receptacle. Now I'm not going to do, uh, oh, there, it's in the garbage can, or the safe receptacle. Now you don't, I'm not gonna show you how to pharyngeal suction because I've shown or just um, demonstrated pharyngeal suction in another video, but at this point in time, you would then put your clean gloves on, like so. You grab your new suction catheter, you hook your new suction catheter up to your suction tubing, and then you switch your regulator to full line pressure, because now you're going to pharyngeal suction out your patient's airway and clean out their oral cavity, oral pharynx, and hypopharyngeal area. Okay, and that's in essence how to do open suction sterile technique on your patient. I hope you got some value out of this. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you liked it, give me a like. If you didn't like it, a thumbs down. Other than that, this is George signing off. Oh, clean up your area too, <laughs> forgot about that. Easy way to clean it up in a fun way. Just take your little suction here, your little vacuum cleaner, and suck out all the rest of that normal saline that you're not using. Get rid of it all, because it's got the patient's uh, secretions in there as well. Shut your, su shut your suction regulator off. Hook the tubing up in a safe way, and it should be cleaned out because you sucked all that stuff out of there. Now this, I don't know if your center is going to be reusing it, but this should be back and packaged up and placed in the appropriate receptacle, receptacle to go for cleaning. And that's it. So hope you had a great day. Again, like the video, didn't like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hope you have a great night, great day. Take care.